Hello and welcome back here friends, it's me Odo. We are back in Pathfinder Wrath of the Right. Um, last time we were at Molten Scar and did something and then I teleported back to Grazon. This is a great thing to do, the teleportation thing. I hope we find soon some place where we can um, do much more teleportation. Um, this is really great. Mm. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of things to complete there. Talk to Wolchiff in private. We should tell Irabeth about the frogs. Probably wait for the result. I don't know what this means, but well. Night gamblers, I don't know how to do this. Find and convict the guilty in Dresden. Yeah, well, um, this doesn't work so fine as well. Find out what the merchant was trying to tell you. Whatever merchant was trying to tell me. I don't know what this means. Let's go into the journal. Tell Erebeth about the victory. Okay. Mm. Attack out of nowhere. This was attack out of nowhere. This is this one. The dragon's fate. No. False dragon, the dragon hunt. We'll have to take Grim Greyboard there. Um, battered spirits, this heresy is done already. Vengeance of Sarkoris. Search the area around Winter Sun Village. So we'll have to go to Winter Bride. Um, Winter Sun as well, again. Knowledge. Oh, this is about the mad scientist. This is also Winter Sun. Hmm, the commander must discern the subtle hints when and where a crime will take place and arrive at the scene at the specified time. Crimes do not only happen under cover of darkness, sometimes the most blatant injustice happens in plain view. Okay, whatever. of the Abyss has no plans for peaceful negotiations typical for an enraged club race. There is only one course of that thing. Okay, we should talk to Waldschiff. This is the Finian's awakening. Ah. That the bladesmith who used him as a test subject is hiding somewhere near Eas. However, the commander does not yet have sufficient force to enter that area. Oh. <clears throat> this was okay. I think I'll enter. The citadel first. Talk to Irabeth. Manage the kingdom. Um, after the kingdom management, I go out, talk to Wolchiff and other people.
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Probably there will also be someone coming to talk to me, like always when you get there. Oh, interesting. What's this? Hurricane Bill still there? Yeah, I also did some... Talk to Europe first. She's the one in charge of everything. I found out how the demons snuck up on us. Don't happen again. We gained 700 experience points. Yay! Anivia. Okay. Let's manage the cruise. There are some crusade things as well. Healing spells are dead, it's on that creatures and birds are inflicting and other spells heal the undead and harm living beings. Thank you for the information. I really like Amber. But I think that Nenu is the better um, companion. Build craftsmen can do some work on the relic. Every, everything is ready for the relic's augmentation. That's it. Giant's village. A group of crusaders. Yeah, the giant village has been founded. Yay! We have an increased material point and 1,500 experience gain. Okay, we have here two leadership stuff. The fate of the altar of the first retriever. Craftsmen are ready to use the web in developing the altar of the first retriever to create the relic or for the commander. A decision needs to be made. Okay. And get the shirt. First retriever's shirt. Or a padded armor. I think I'd like a padded armor. Ah, this is chest and this is armor. I like the shirt best because we don't have normally chests. Enemies. A conflict between two officers has led to a defeat in a skirmish with demons. Well, that's stupid. One of the officers, a charming young noble, tried saving the lives of the soldiers. The other, a cynical veteran mercenary, acted based on the principle that victory is all that matters. Hmm. The soldiers from each unit blame the other one unit's officers for the defeat. How should the investigators arbitra arbitrate the guilty parties? Each both officers. That sounds fine. Punish the young aristocrat. Crusade moral increases. Really? 
if we punish the young aristocrat that helped the people to live, that's interesting. Veteran mercenary. We get finance points. Uh, reconcile the two officers. Recruitment growth for all trainable units from the main barracks and the main archery range increases by 15% for 30 days. Hmm. More troops. Or more leadership. Yeah, it's only this. Hmm. You should point some more troops. Now let's do this. We are the good guy. Strengthening diplomatic connections. Do we have so many diplomatic points that we can... Yes. We take level 5. Mm. To preserve the friendship of countries and nobility sponsoring the commander's army. This is also only one day, so... Ooh, really? war wears soldiers down. Can we take a look if you like? like the next leadership level? Yes, we can. Military as well. Do this. Logistics, logistics. What's this? Uh, the fate of the voracious jumble, a skilled craftsman, can do some work on the radic. Okay. Distributing provisions. The leadership thing. Yay! Provisions among the crusaders will be moral and show that the commander cares about his. Okay, we don't need that right now. So it's okay if we don't do it. The fate of the first daybreak. Another diplomacy thing. Which relic? My new relic? Probably. Uh, relics of the Amer. Pilgrims will arrive to honor the Holy Relic. 12 clerics and 20 rangers will be recruited at the commander's headquarters. That's nice. And what does Bell of Mercy do? All units gain the voice of the Bell of Mercy. A unit has a plus one bonus to AC against demon units attack. It's attacked. Not so what do we need more troops or a plus one to ac for everyone first this takes seven days and this here take seven days yeah let's take this first Can't we strengthen the military? We have enough military there as well. But there is nothing militarily we are doing right now. I mean, ah. 
Ah, we could do this. Of course, we should do this then. Probably we can do then, uh, uh, like, uh, mm -hmm. we can put there some, um, what's it called? Teleportation circle as well, probably. Yeah. So this will be probably the next logistic thing before we do the next relic. This costs material points, a lot of material points. It costs. We built a lot of buildings, so this is probably the reason why we don't have material points left. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it would be really great to do the application ring like in Kenabra or something. To the streets. Crescent of the app. What this mean? Ah, oh, this takes so long. Let's talk to Wolf first. takes long. Okay. Everyone, stay with me. Map. Where is Wolchit? I think, he, yeah, here he is at the market. The city is too big for my computer. Wolchev wanted to tell me something in private. Hey, Chief. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. I don't know how to word it, so you don't just drag me straight to the Inquisition. Is this another secret? You can trust me. I won't tell anyone. If you committed a crime, you will have to answer for it under the law. <laughs> okay, last time we took an evil thing, so we have to take good now. We also need a few chaotic things to stay true neutral. Uh, fine, you... I still can't believe you took me back. No one has ever done anything like that for me before. So I guess I can trust you with some things. Not all of them, though. My shadow... Did I tell you it talks now? Well, it happened after I started carrying the moon of the abyss with me. And that's not the only thing that happened. Okay. 
It's been giving me strange dreams, like I'm falling inside some kind of crystal, I keep falling forever, everything around me is shining, but dreams don't mean anything. I thought it was because the wound is so near, but there's something else. Uh, Chief, I'm stronger, my fingers tingle any time I use magic now, like it's dying to come out. It wasn't like this before, I did some magic, but now it's like I can do some real damage, you know. This never happened before I took the moon. Yep, you also got some more levels. <laughs> Chief, I don't know what to do with these powers. What if they get stronger? I mean, I've always thought about what I'd do, but was suddenly rich and powerful. I'd show everyone my true worth, but I'm not ready for this. It's too much for a simple fella like me. Yes, this is my grandfather's inheritance, but why'd he leave it to me? Do you think he really wanted me to become stronger so I could grab what the world owned me, owed me as payment for all the kicks and blows, for all the mocking at the way I, w at the way I was born? What if it is a trap? Yeah, it, of course it's a trap. It's always a trap. Okay, here is a chaotic thing we could do. I've never seen anything like this. You need to use its powers with caution and we'll keep an eye on how the amulet works from now on. Really? That's not chaotic, that's a good advice. Just think how much you can do for the crusade now. Ugh. Your demonic heritage won't lead to anything good. You can't just turn your back on these powers. Okay, let's take the chaotic thing. Because I took so many lawful um, things now because of the Aeon. I know a cautionary tale. The Golden Hands had a f had a thug, a half orc, who'd bend coins and break bricks with his head for a dare. So once they asked him, "Can you lift a tower shield with your teeth?" No hands. He tried it, and all his teeth, all of them, one by one, you know. So he lived on porridge until he kicked the bucket, which happened because he couldn't lisp the password to the hideout, so they shot him with a crossbow on the spot. They figured it out later, and everyone felt bad about it. Okay. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, that's when I realized that even if you have great strength, you need to use your brain too. And now, if Virgil gets to me again, I'll be ready. Thanks for understanding, Chief. I don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Too many demons hanging around you, and the moon of the abyss turned out to be a de of demonic origin as well. I think I like it. If it was up to me, I would never have met them. This is how I see it. Ugefelus must be my grandfather since they call me his spawn. Virgil, that spiked ugly mug, came up to try, up to aim to try to collect some of the old demon's debt on me. I know how it goes. We have uncles for this in the family. Big talks. Without the spikes. Go around beating money out of late prayers. Payers, payers, not prayers. The Haps mirror he's talking about must be like our sister Charismai, but for demons. And all Gramps crossed her somehow, and she just can't get over it. He probably stole the moon of the abyss from her. I don't know, but I would have. And the moon, ha, <laughs> Grandpa. You should have left me a note for it or some beef. I think he acted better of me than how I turned out in the end. He probably thought he'd have a smart grandkid who'd know what the moon was for and what to do with it. But he got me. So what if he was a demon? I don't want to let him down, you know. He believed in me, I guess. Just you and him. 
chief, the only two people in the whole world to believe in me. That's why I have to figure this thing out. Okay, whatever. Oh, we can trade with him. Look, chief, the thieflings have all the best things. So he's a trader as well. Masterwork Glaive. Yeah, I... First Retrievers should... No, we won't sell this one. This one sell just a plot. Okay, uh... Bulk selling... Let's sell these 90 potions. We really don't need them. We have no goods. Ah, I totally forgot about this. Okay. Uh, what does he have? Quarter staff of slip. Plus one compense bonus to eat. Hmm. Wand of Grease, Wand of Sleep, Wand of Ray of Sickening, Cold Iron Star Knife, Veteran's Armor. Ah, oh, this is also a chest thing. Rope of Inevitability. This rope grants the wearer plus two bonus to spell penetration. Oh, great. I'll probably take this one. No, not this one. Deal. Inventory. Um, you don't have a rope. Do you? You need to spell penetration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Journal. Mm. This is well, okay. Um what more? Yeah, let's read this let's read this uh thing. That we found. Paper is old and is stained black with blood in places. Someone has written over the ancient elven runes in blood. Just one fragment on in the corner is readable. Not a portal, but a soft spot of the world. Many gods and demons have the power to open such a rift. But doing this will not be to uh, their liking, that they will leave the request unanswered. Therefore, one should pronounce the word, the word Ravuk when creating such a rift. It is an ancient and mighty word of power that belongs to a language now forgotten. This word means no name. Mages of the past often wove it into the texts of their incantations to shelter themselves from anger of those forces disturbed by rights against me. Okay, whatever. What's this? Voracious jumble. Okay. 
This is the key for the ivory sanctum where we have to go. We talk to him and see if we can cleanse him from his... You mean what you did back there? I have a few ideas. We could send you to a Pitex underground arena to fight. Give you a scary name like Swift Sting or something like that. Give you a great cover story. Enemies burn down your house. Enemies burn down your house. Your you are avenging your dead family. The public eats that stuff up. You wear a shiny eye-catching outfit. Or a black. You like black. We'll split the price money. Six. Me, of course. You know, arranging fights isn't easy. Those people are tough. I'll be taking more risk than you. And after we get set up in Pitex, we'll tour different cities, make some real money. What? You don't like the sound of it? You have any questions? I got one more. Have you heard of Rasmiran? Rasmiran? What's Rasmiran? It's a realm. Okay. It's some land in the river kingdoms ruled by the by King Rasmir. A friend of mine used to live in Rasmiran. He walked out of there as fast as he could. Long story short, this King Rasmir of theirs is a god. He keeps his people under his heel. They're all terrified of what he might do. He sits on his throne wearing some white mask, giving power to anyone. Come and take power from me, he says, so long as you believe in me. But that friend of mine, the one who fled, was a half-sister on his old man's side, who's a cook in the castle and the washerwoman who the cook plays cards with in the evenings told her choose rumor where this Rasmir isn't a real god at all and he's got no powers so here's my point you do have powers pretty scary ones too we'll find some shabby little kingdom I'll start some rumors you'll show off a few tricks wow the locals and that's it we'll make you a deity but first, I want you to put it in writing that I'll be your chief advisor. I'm not doing anything just on the nod. I've been there. People promise you mountains of gold and then, when it comes to it, they all get lost. Or I'll set the dog. So, do you like the idea? Probably. Okay, call myself a god and deceive people. That's disgusting. You should be punished for your heretic, heretical thoughts. It's a great idea. We'll get to work on it just as soon as we get out of it. It's an interesting idea, but I need to think about it. No, we don't want to know more about him. You broke the laws of Galarian. It's time to confess and accept punishment. I should have taken the Kelt thing. I? Me? What? I banish you from the crusade. Really? I mean, this is stupid. You had me there for a second. I know where you can stick for your for the good of the crusade, but you're not kicking me out, so thanks for that. Okay. Was this an Aeon thing? Was this part of my Aeon thing that I had to do? Okay. Um, I really don't know where to go with... I mean, I need to do some things here. But I don't know with whom I should talk. Really? Again? I had this before. Why was there still a dispute in the past? The storyteller seeks page. Yeah, but where is the storyteller? Can we find him somewhere? Hmm.
No thy enemy. I don't know. Yeah. Let's move out. Also, time's up again. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.